All right, so can you guys see my screen now? Yes, sir. All right, so I hope that you guys are prepared. Okay, so sana handa na yung utak nyo para ulit matuto ng bago. All right, so our uh, third module is composed of visual basic looping and data file and then error handling. Okay, so mostly dito sa module 3 will be uh, more on looping. All right, so let's start. So what is visual basic looping? So this one is used for operations that are repeated for some number of times. So from the word itself, looping, we have a loop, okay? Continuously, uh, parang uh, nag-execute siya na continuously, okay? So depende kung ilang times, depende sa program mo, okay? So loop repeats until some specified condition at the beginning or end of the loop is met. Okay, so saka lang siya titigil kapag na-meet na yung condition. Okay, so later on you will see how our looping works. So in here looping statements, we have uh, three kinds. We have the do loop variations, the for loop, and then the while loop. Okay, so in total, we have six actually, six loopings. Four for the do loop uh, variations, one for loop, and then one while loop. So under do loop variation, we have four. We have the do while, do until, do loop while, and then do loop until. Okay? So ikakategorize ko na ngayon pa lang. Under do loop variation, we have do while and then do until. So eto, this one is the pretest looping. So when we say pretest, you put the condition on the first line okay? or on the first uh, condition of the do. Okay, and then for the do loop while and then do loop until you put the condition on the last line of the do loop uh, condition. Okay, so for the for loop, uh, you put the condition in the first loop. For the while loop, you put the condition on the first loop. So again, a total of uh, four uh, loops wherein you put the condition on the first line. And then for the uh, post test, do loop while and then do loop until only. So four and then two. Okay. So we have here the constructions of the pre-test and then the post-test. So when we say pre-test, again, you put the condition on the first line. For the post-test, you put the condition on the last line. Okay. So for now, you don't need to memorize uh, those loops. Okay. So uh, kunin nyo muna yung thoughts or yung idea. Kapag narinig yung pre-test, ah, ilalagay ko dapat yung condition sa taas. Ah, kapag post-test, dapat lalagay ko yung condition sa baba. Kasi yun yung susundin yung format kapag nirequire ko kayo ng using the post-test loop, code this one or do this one. Using the pre-test loop, do this one. Okay? So, dapat dun palang alam nyo, ah, ito yung mga pwede kong gamitin loop or condition or mga uh, pre-test loops. Okay? For post-test, ito naman. Okay? So, yan yung format nila. Okay? So, I will leave that one to you guys for now. So actually, same na same lang sila. Ang papansin ninyo, do while or until, ito yung condition nyo. Dito naman, mawawala na yun. Okay. Do lang dito, and then yung body of the loop, same lang yan, body of the loop. And then loop while naman na. Okay. Loop while or until, and then the condition. Right? So nabaliktad lang. And then of course, nung binaliktad, medyo na iba ng konti yung syntax. Pero same thought lang sila. Alright? So again, we have, uh, we have, uh, six loops a total, and then we have four pre-tests and then two post-tests. So, wag nyo muna i-memorize. Basta alamin nyo lang na mayroong four pre-tests and then two post-tests. Okay, so, yan na yung mga yan. So, we have do while, do until, while, and then four. And then meron tayong post-tests, do loop, and then do loop. We're in save silang while sa kanil. Okay? So, next. So, ito yung mga pinaka-syntaxes talaga okay, ng each of those loops. Ngayon, dito na kayo magme-memorize. Okay? So, me-memorize nyo itong do while, do until, do loop while, do loop until, while, at saka for next. Sir, ang dami naman. Sabi ko. Don't worry. Lahat sila same thought lang. Okay? Papadaliin ko na para sa inyo. Hindi nyo kailang i-memorize lahat. Okay? So, kapag nagko-coding ako, ang lagi ko lang ginagamit is itong do while loop. 
Yung iba, hindi ko habisado yung syntax, to be honest. Okay? Para hindi kayo ma-pressure. Isa lang i-memorize nyo. Kasi lahat sila, uh, pare-parehas lang naman ng uh, way of doing the code. It's just that you have different syntax na kailangan mong sundin. Okay? So, do while loop structure lang ginagamit ko. So, sa do while, uh, until this condition is true, it will execute those statement and then loop. Okay? So, hanggat true itong condition na to, then gagawin nyo tong statement na to. Dito naman sa, sorry, dito naman sa do until loop, okay? Hanggat false yung statement na to, is gagawin nyo naman to. So, ito yung kabaliktaran na itong do while. Okay? So, ito yung pinakahint nyo kapag while, dapat true yung statement or true yung condition rather, sorry. And then kapag until, dapat false yung condition. Okay? So, napaliktad lang silang dalawa. Pero, same idea, same pot. Alright? So, for do loop while and then do loop until, again, we have while. Kapag while, dapat true yung statement. Kapag until, dapat false yung uh, statement on statement. Dapat true yung condition. Okay? And then, kapag uh, loop until, dapat false yung condition. So, ito naman yung pinakahint nyo kapag uh, post-test, may loop siya, okay, sa unahan or dun sa title. So, do loop while or loop while is a post-test. And then, do loop until is also a post-test. Okay? So, same idea din sila dito sa nauna. It's just that the con condition are at the last line. Okay? So, we have a true condition and then a false condition. And then, for the last one, so, ito yung pinaka-straightforward actually, pinaka-madali para hindi nyo na-problemahin. Minsan, yung ginagamit ko rin ito okay, pag uh, naalala ko. So, while and while structure. Ito yung pinaka-simple sa lahat ng mga uh, loops. Okay? So, initialization statement. So, hindi nyo na kailang problemahin yan. Initialization statement dito. And then, while condition true. So, same lang siya ng ito, do while. Okay? It's just that natanggal lang yung do natin. Okay? And then while na lang dito and then end while na dito. Okay? So again, depende yan kung saan yung part or ano yung pinaka na-memorize mo or ano yung pinaka ginagamit mo. Okay? So kahit isa lang, enough na yun. Okay? So while condition is true and then it will execute those statements while this condition is true and then end while. So ito yung pinaka simple sa uh, anim. And then for the uh, last one, for next structure, so, we have for uh, yung variable name and then yung initial value ng variable mo hanggang yung final value ng variable mo. Okay? And then step value. So, you have to indicate here uh, uh, how many steps you're going to jump once that uh, first loop uh, are done. Okay? So, for example, one, two, let's say initial number is one and then final number is five. So, you have to indicate here it will, will it increment by one? By 2, by 3, by 4, by 5. So kapag by 1, meaning mag -e start siya sa 1 and then mag -e increment ng 1. So magiging 2 na yung uh, initial value mo sa pangalawa. So basically, uh, counting siya by 1. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or incrementing siya by 1. So this will loop 5 times. So ito naman, ito, itong uh, 4 next structure na to. Uh, this one is more on kung marami kang steps like 50, 100, uh, mas madali itong gamitin. Okay? Kasi mas straightforward yung condition niya kaagad dito. Okay? So meron kayong variable and then you want to initialize that one at 0 and then end at 50. So meaning you're going to loop 51 times from 0 to 50. Okay? Or 1 to 50. So depende sa code nyo. Okay? And then exit for and then continue for. So meron tayo another two condition wherein kapag, let's say, na-meet nyo yung 25 value or value of 25 kasi in-indicate mo sa uh, program mo, exit for var is equal to 25. So pwede rin yan. If force, exit mo yung uh, loopings mo. And then continue for, let's say, kapag uh, na-reach nyo naman na yung value ng 35, so parang in-skip na yung 26 to 34. Kapag na-reach yung value ng 20, uh, 35, so uh, saka naman siya magkakontinue. Okay. So 1 to 25, uh, okay siya. 
And then 26 to 34 is mag exit siya kasi sinet mo dito, for example. And then 36 onwards hanggang 50 is mag continue siya. So ito, mas complete to kaysa sa iba. Pero magagawa mo rin to sa iba. Okay? It's just that you have to uh, code it. Okay? Ilagay mo rin itong exit for sa kakonting form. May pwede naman sa kanila eh. And then next, and then yung uh, var natin. So, kung ano yung variable name mo dito, dapat same lang siya dito. Okay? So, uh, of course, sa ngayon, gulong-gulo pa kayo kasi hindi nyo pa naman nakikita yung mga results. Para mamaya makikita nyo kung paano. Okay? Right, so we have here an exercise uh, number one. So, display sequence of numbers from one to five using message box. Okay? So, uh, papadaliin ko na. Lahat yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, same lang sila ng output. Okay? So again, you can use one of those syntaxes only. Okay? So pwede kahit hindi mo na i-memorize yan, hindi mo na i-memorize, hindi mo na i-memorize, saka ito, saka ito, okay lang. Kasi lahat sila pare-parehas lang naman. It's just that you have to follow a different syntax. Okay? Pero for the sake of learning, since kailangan ito, and then sa exam, baka let's say in-require ko kayo using do loop while or do loop until to this one. Okay? So, kailangan yung alamin. Okay? Pero kapag nag nasa coding area na kayo, let's say uh, pinapagawa ko to sa inyo, so you don't need to uh, follow uh, one specific uh, looping structure. So, kahit ano dyan, since pare-parehas lang naman sila. Okay? So, to start with, we have here the do while. So again, kapag do while, i-execute niya yung uh, statement na to and hanggat true yung condition nyo. So kung papansin niyo, do while, x is less than or equal to 5. So, uh, gagawin niya to hanggat yung x mo is nandito yung value. Less than or equal to 5. And then, kung papapansin niyo dito, meron tayong x is equal to x plus 1. Meaning, mag increment tayo ng uh, plus 1 every loop. Okay? And then, ito yung initial value ng x natin. Okay? Initial value, and then kung saan siya mag end So, 1 to 5. Okay? And then, it will increment by 1. And then, i-display natin siya sa message box. And then, this one, number. So, this one is just a string. Okay? So, parang ipiprint lang natin to number. And so, kinongkatinate lang natin yung function na kongkatinate. So, pwede yung uh, end symbol or yung plus symbol. And then, yung variable x. So, dito mali-display yung x natin. So, initially, yung value na x natin is 1. Okay, i-display sa message box is 1. And then, pag duman na siya dito, mag increment siya by 1. So, kapag tinik ko yung okay, yung dati nating 1 will be uh, plus 1 na. Madalagtagan na ng uh, 1. Sa incrementing siya by 1. So, kapag tinik niya okay, 2 na yung lalabas na susunod. Okay? Another okay, 3 na. Another okay is 4. Another okay, okay is 5. So, pagka-click ko dun sa uh, 5, pag value mo dito is 5, uh, wala na siyang gagawin or mag -e exit na siya. Kasi, hindi na true yung statement natin dito. So, kapag lumampas sa dyan, let's say 6 na yung value natin, wala na. Doon na siya mag -e stop So, this statement, or this code will loop five times. Okay? So, para ma-appreciate nyo to, let's do this one using an actual Visual Studio. Well, pwede, pwede nyo gawin to kasi, ayun no, nandiyan na lahat. All you need to do is make it work. Copy-paste. And then, pwede. Alright, so just wait a second. Okay. So, ang galing ko na yan. Ang galing yan. Wait now. All right. So let me just change the name of this one. All right. Good. All right. So, wala tayong ibang kailangan. Ito lang. So, double-click that one, the program. Oops, tanggalin ko lang to. Eh, tanggalin ko lang din to. Okay. 
So first thing that we need to do is declare a variable dim x as integer. Okay. And then second thing is yung mag initial uh pag set tayo ng initial value ng x natin. x is equal to 1. Okay. And then yung gagamitin natin syntax is this one do well. So do well x is less than or equal to 5. Okay. And then hit enter. And then magpapakita ng complete syntax ng do while natin. So do while loop. And then hanggat through ito, you execute niya yung nasa loob ng looping statement natin. So message box. So dito natin i-display number and oops. X. So, ito ay kukunkatinate lang natin tong string na to dito sa uh, variable X natin. So, i-display natin siya gamit tong string na to. Number and X. So, pwede yung end or pwede yung plus. Okay. So, kahit anong gamitin nyo, okay lang yan. Ang dalawang dun. And then, mag-increment tayo by 1. X is equal to X plus 1. Okay, so meron kayong two ways para mag-increment ng value. So pwede yung x is equal to x plus 1 or x plus equals 1. So yung dalawang yan, same lang. Okay, so test natin kung same nga pa talaga sila. Gamitin natin itong x plus is equal to 1. Alright, so start na. Wait lang. There you go. So, start loop and number 1. Pag-click ko ng okay, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. And then, dapat pagka-click ko ng okay, dapat wala na. There you go. So, this code will loop 5 times. So, ano initial value natin? Oops. Click ko na naman. Ano initial value natin? Yung 1 and then hanggang 5. So, incrementing siya by 1. Okay? So, as long as this statement is true, it will execute those statements. Okay, so are we clear so far uh, with this one? Diyan pa ba kayo guys? Tulog na yata ulit kayo ha? Ito ba po, sir? About Miss Jessica and Miss Pepe. Are you guys there? And dito pa, sir. So, do you guys have a question so far regarding with this one? Not sure. Sure? Wala pa po, sir. Wala pa, okay. So, sobrang simple pa lang naman yan since four lines of codes pa lang. So again, this will loop how many times? How many times, guys? Ilan beses magluloop to? Wala kayo dyan. Kakasabi ko pala. Five times po, sir. Ilan? Five times. Alright, so yeah. this will loop. 5 times. So, initial value natin is 1 hanggang ma-reach na yung value ng 5. So, as long as our x is less than or equal to 5. Alright. So, hindi ko na ipapakita yung iba since lahat sila pare-parehas ng output. At yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay? So, yung iba, yung nandiyan na yung pre-test, uh, pre yung iba dyan post-test, yung dyan, iba dyan while, and then yung for next. Okay? So, Ito yung isa pang pre-test, do until. Ito naman, again, yung kabalik na rin lang nito So, do until x is greater to 5. Meaning, dapat false ito. Okay? Until x, and then this statement is false, this will execute this code. Okay? And then for uh, post-test, we have while, loop while. So, hanggat through tong uh, condition na to, it will execute those statements. And then we have until again, it says that it's in the form of post-test. So 
uh, until this statement is false, it will execute those statements. Okay? And then for the while, so the while na to, sa akin do while, same lang sila. It's just that different syntax again. So while x is less than or equal to 5, so hanggat true tong condition na to, it will execute those statements. Okay? And then for for, so ito na yun, we have 5 steps. So actually, mas madali mag-execute dito. Kung papansin ninyo, mas maikse. Ito yung pinamaikse pagdating sa mga steps or loopings. So for x is equal to 1 to 5, meaning mag-start ka ng 1, and then yung pinaka-final value is 5. Okay? So message box number, and yun. Yung ginawa rin natin kanina. And then next, x. So whatever is the variable here should be the same with this one. Okay? So... Yun lang naman yung mga syntaxes na kailangan yung problemahin. Pero for now, uh, kahit isa lang i-memorize nyo. Okay. Alright, so let's move on to the exercise number 2. Display sequence of numbers from 10 to 25. Alright? So again, meron tayong 6 as usual. Uh, one of each of those uh, looping structure. So we have do while, do loop, do until, uh, do loop until, using while, and then using for next. Okay, so lahat ng yan, pare-parehas lang yung output wherein they display a sequence of numbers from 10 to 25. So starting from 10 hanggang 25, ilang beses siya maglulup? Ten, sir. 10? 10 to 25? 10 times lang siya maglulup? Ilan? Ilang beses siya maglulup? How many times our exercise number two will loop? Lagi dyan. Obvious, obvious na nga. Oh. Initial value natin is 10. And then final value is 25. So how many 15, times? 15, sir. Ilan? 15 po. 15? 16. So, bilangan natin. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay? So, 16 siya kasi nag-start tayo sa 10. Okay? So, parang uh, 0 to 10 yan. Parang ganun yung nangyari. So, instead of 1 to 10, 0 to 10 yung nangyari. Okay? So, this exercise number 2 will loop 16 times. So basically, parang 25 minus 10 plus 1. Parang ganun lagi. Okay? Alright. So, balik na tayo sa mga code natin. So we have do while loop. So again, while uh, initial value is 10, and then while this condition is true, it will execute those statements. So 10 to 25. 16. Alam nyo na yan. And then for do until, so, kapag until, while, or until this condition is false, it will execute those statements. Okay? And then for do loop while, so, nabaliktad lang, nasa baba naman, uh, hanggat true tong condition na to, it will execute those statements. And then, again, until, kapag until tayo, so your condition should be false. So, until this condition is false, it will execute those statements. Okay? So, lahat sila ang initial value ni Ristan since yun nga yung required for exercise number 2. Okay? And then for using while, so again, this one is similar to do while, it's just that a different syntax. So, while x or while this condition is true, it will execute those statements. And then for, uh, for next structure, we have an initial value of n hanggang 25. And then it will display here uh, the value of our uh, variable x message box. Okay, and then next, x. So, ganun lang kasimple. So, I encourage you guys to try all of those. Kung need nyong itry one by one lahat para mas maintindihan nyo, then do it. Okay? Kasi, wala nang papalit pa sa experience. Okay? So, tinuturuan ko na kayo, ginagayad ko lang kayo, pero kapag and uh, experience nyo yan, mas maiintindihan nyo. Okay? Like 20% yung matututunan nyo ngayon and then 80% kapag ginawa nyo mismo sa sarili. 
Okay? Pag kayo mismo yung gumawa. Alright. So, that's it for exercise number 2. Okay? So, exercise number 3. Rewrite the code to output numbers from 25 down to 10. Okay? So, pakita ko na nga lang. Dito muna tayo sa exercise, uh, exercise number 2. So, kung kanina ginawa natin yung do while, gawin naman natin tong uh, do until. Okay? So, team x is your x equal to 1, do until. Dito sa baba. Ay, na, na, na. Ito pala. Pre-test pa rin tayo. Do until x is greater to 5. Ayan. And then, incrementing siya by 1. Alright, so test natin. So, until this uh, condition is false, it will continue uh, execute those statements. Alright, start to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dapat pagka-click ko ng uh, okay, dapat wala nang susunod kasi magiging true na yung statement natin. Ayan. So, yung 6 now, 6 is greater than 5. So, titigil na siya doon kasi naging true na yung statement natin dito. Okay? So, gawin naman natin to from 10 to 25. So, you just have to change the initial value from 1 to 10. And then, uh, from 5 to 25. And then, still incrementing siya by 1. Okay? So, let's check this one. Alright. So, pagka-start ko ng loop, dapat yan yung initial value. Hanggang sa ma-reach na yung value ng 25. So, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, pagka-click ko ng okay, dito sa 25, dapat wala nang susunod. There you go. Okay? So, that's how our uh, do until works. Okay? So, do loop while, do loop until, mamaya na lang yan. Okay? And then, for exercise number 3, uh, palitan naman daw natin from 25 down to 10. Alright, so sa ngayon, tapos na tayo sa do while and then do uh, loop while. Gamitin naman natin is do until. Ah, hindi, hindi, hindi. Ito pala yung ginamit natin kanina. Do until. Okay? Do while and then do until. So ngayon naman ang gagamitin na natin is do loop while. So do loop while is a post test. Okay? Instead of having the condition on the first or second line, we now have the condition on the last line. So, do na lang dito. And then, loop while. Yeah. Loop while. So, initial value natin is 25. And then, ilipat natin to sa baba. So, while x is less than or equal to 25. Okay? So, dapat, true tong statement na to para mag-execute uh, yung mga statement. Uh, statement natin, or true yung condition rather. Okay? So, uh, while x is less than or equal to 25, then it will keep on looping. So, initial value natin is 25, 10. Hindi pala less than, should be greater than. Sorry. Kasi from 25 to 10 na tayo. Greater than. Greater than the 10. And then, instead of having an increment, Kasi nga nag-start na tayo sa 25. So, dapat pababa. Dapat decrementing na. Okay? So, instead of plus, change that 1 into minus. So, now, our statement now is decrementing by 1. Okay? Initial value is 25. So, nag-decrement na 1, 24, 23, 22, 21, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, let's check this one. Alright. So, number 25. Pag-click ko na okay, dapat mag-decrement na siya. Oops. Yan. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, hanggang sa ma-reach natin yung value ng 10. There you go. Oops. Hindi na tayo umabot sa 10. Hanggang 25 to 11 lang yun. 25 is greater than or equal to 25. Ayan. So, dapat lagyan natin ng equal para ma-reach yung value ng 10. Hanggang... 10. So, check natin kung working na ba siya perfectly. 25 hanggang, so, 11, 10. Okay? There you go. Then, pagkakalik ko ng okay dun sa 10, ah, wala na susunod. Kasi nga, hindi na greater yung value natin dun sa 
10 na sinet natin. So, pag yung value ng x natin is 9, 9 is not greater or equal to 10. So, which will make this condition false. Okay? So, kapag false na to, hindi na siya magpo-proceed dito sa statements natin. Okay? So, are we clear so far? Are we clear, guys? So, did you guys understand uh, somehow, di man fully, pero at least nag-grasp nyo yung uh, idea? Yes, sir. Alright, so how about Miss Maricar Pimentel? So, I hope uh, medyo makahabol ka kasi nga na-late ka yata ng pasok. And then, nawala si Mr. Michael, uh, Michael Cordero. So, Hindi ko alam kung nasa na siya. Alright. So that's it for exercise number 2. Using uh, do until loop. Okay? And then, ito naman yung format or syntax niya para sa using while. And then, here's the syntax for using for next. Okay? So I will leave those things to you guys. So same lang siya ng uh, exercise number 1 and number 2. It's just at a different Condition. Okay? So, I think condition natin for now. 25 to 10. Alright, so your turn. Uh, write codes that print all the odd numbers from 1 to 50 using the do while loop structure. Okay? So, may stress na naman kayo. Gagawin na naman. Okay, so hindi ko na ito papagawa. Gagawin na natin ito ngayon. Okay? So, ang gusto ko lang nagawin nyo is yung 5 laboratories natin. Okay, ano yung five laboratories? Yung three quizzes nyo at saka yung two uh, laboratory nyo talaga. Okay, so hindi ko na dadagdagan since uh, one week na lang tayo. So tapusin nyo yun uh, within this week. Okay, so gawin natin to. Uh, right codes at print all the odd numbers from 1 to 50. Okay, add numbers and then using do while loop. So do while So, initial value natin is 1. 1 to 50. Okay? And then, incrementing dapat to kasi 1 to 50 tayo. And then, kung papansin ninyo, sabi dito, i-spray natin yung odd numbers. So, yung unang i-spray natin is 1. So, good na yan. Okay? Pero kailangan yung next na i-display natin is 3. Then, next is 5. 7, 9, hanggang ma-reach natin yung 49. So, anong gagawin natin para ang i-display natin is add numbers? Anong papalitan ko dito? Anyone? Anyone among the four of you? Who can guess what are we going to change to make the result from 1, 3, 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, from 1, 2, 3 to 1, 3, 5, 7, okay? Kasi ito, itong code na to, this will uh, increment by 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, dara dara chong hanggang sa ma-reach niyo 50. So what are we going to do to display 1, 3, 5, 7 hanggang 49? Anyone? Wait, sir, 77. Kita yao. Ilang, ilang minuto ang kailangan mo. All right, so analyze nyo. Analyze, analyze. nyo ba? Ayan, palaki, palakihan ko pa para mas kita nyo. Okay. 
So how about you, Miss Marigar? Do you have an idea? It's okay to say an answer for now. Palusot pa ganun para mas, mas magandang pakinggan. How about you, Miss Pebby? Miss Jessica? No idea, sir. No idea. How about you, Miss Jessica? Hindi ko alam, sir. <laughs> Processing pa, sir. Processing pa. Wala na, wala na tayong oras. Okay, so three beats lang to. Okay, so ang papalitan nyo lang. So in, again, instead of incrementing by one, just make it increment by two. Okay, kasi para mag-jump siya ng every two. So initial value natin is one. So pag nag-increment tayo by two, magiging three na yung next sa value. Again, pagka nag-loop ulit siya, plus two ulit. So three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Hanggang sa ma-reach nyo yung 49. Okay, so mostly dito nyo binabago yung code nyo para mapalitan nyo yung display. Okay, so again, nasa incrementing value or decrementing value nyo yung papalitan nyo. Okay, so let's check this one. If this one is really true. Uy, saan na yung ating message box? Nangyari. X plus you have to do while X greater than ah less than less than sorry so while this one is true then it will execute those start loop so one three five seven nine hanggang forty nine there you go so pagka click dito dapat yan na yung end right so na get naman so far yung logic Kung ano na yung mga part na, ah, ito pala yung para sa display. Ah, ito pala yung para sa kan lang. Ano pa ganyan. Okay? So, as always, initial value, and then yung end of value, and then how many, kung ilan yung i-increment niya every loop, and then sa natin i-display, and then yung string na gamit natin, and then kinong-catenate lang natin, and then yung variable x. Okay? Alright, so any questions so far or clarification? Slide 14 pa lang tayo. Oo, siguro hanggang 14. Anyway. Alright, so any question or clarification? Wala pa po siya. Wala pa. Okay. Alright, so since we we'll, we now only have 1 minute and 12 seconds, so i-end ko na dito. And then continue na lang natin mamaya yung uh, mga susunod sa next na uh, video or sa part 2. Okay? So, goodbye for now. So, see you uh, in a bit after 5 to 7 minutes. Okay? So, bye-bye for now. <laughs>